Hello everybody. So this video proves that if you're out to find something interesting, chances are you will. So once again, as I'm just kind of walking around, you know, during lunch break in Chicago, I just came across this building. I don't know, it looks like residential building, but who knows. But then there is this sort of a parking lot where it's a bunch of destroyed cars. Just, I don't know, maybe there's a body shop around the corner or something. I'm not quite sure, but man, this is quite interesting. So look at this Camry. Holy moly. Looks like they are keeping probably some of their more abandoned cars, I'm guessing, or maybe for parts. So I used to have an 07 Camry, and it's interesting to see one just like that. Look at that. Look what kind of impact it suffered all over the place. Ooh, right there. I mean, judging by the rust and condition, I mean, this thing has been there for quite some time. Here's another Camry. Seems to be overgrowing, but in much better shape. Here's a Prius. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. Here's a Camry. Seems like a lot of badges are missing. I don't know, people are just coming in here to kind of pick. Look at this. Car for sale. Four grand. Santa Fe. Okay, interesting. There's a pretty destroyed cab mini, uh, minivan cab over there. Um, Mercedes E500. Okay. Who knows what happened there and why there's a rim with a tire on there. There's a Lincoln. Hmm. Interesting. Look at this. A Lincoln MKZ. And by the looks of these things, I mean, this car's been here for... I mean, all these cars have been here for, for quite some time. Look at all the foliage and stuff. All right. What is this? An Acura MDX, I'm guessing. Missing most of the front. Here's a Camry, another one. Looks like Camrys and Toyotas are the slots thing. Also, front front end damage. Quite serious, there's a rubber floor mat that's interesting. A Nissan Maxima. Looks like it was impounded at one point. Here's another Camry cab. Ford Escape. Okay, I'll take that. Doesn't seem to be too destroyed. And then there's a couple others. So there's another Prius. And then this Mercedes. Now, obviously, these last two cars, they don't appear to be, you know, in bad of a shape. But obviously, this stuff and that stuff and everything else is kind of messed up. So, yeah. I just kind of proves. Now, it says no trespassing. Okay, so. Yeah, maybe, maybe they were filming me as I was uh, filming them. But, all right. Well, I'll take it. So I left that place and just walking back already from lunch just turned into an alley right here and look at this another interesting find Jeep Cherokee looks by the looks of this thing it's been abandoned for quite a large number of years um, can't really tell by the stickers on it as far as what the, the age is but look at look at these tires I mean they're almost liquefied to this point look at this is this somebody try breaking in or just the lock fell because of the rust? And then look at the back tires right here too. Let's see. Yeah, see? Look at this. So, by the looks of it, it hasn't been registered since 2011. And yeah, it, it clearly shows. So there's a bunch of bugs down here. I had to jump out of the way. But look, the sticker says 2011. So it hasn't been re-registered at least. Look, look at all the rust on the rear wiper. The gasket from the rear window is gone. Once again, it's kind of the tires are growing into the, the asphalt. Inside there's a bunch of trash. Surprisingly, there are stamps on the dash. So that's weird. It's got leather. So look at the roof too. So this kind of proves that even in the, in the middle of a pretty large city that Chicago is, you can find plenty of abandoned stuff like this, just in an alley, you know, right next to a bunch more modern cars, even to the point of this. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of interesting to just keep finding and keep looking for stuff. And remember, no dog poop.